find the Gemini twins and their sensational siblings. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plaw Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, outreach astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. We're both here to help you be sure you know what you're seeing in the night sky when you look, look up. up. Right now, the constellation Gemini the Twins is at its brightest for viewing in early evening. And while most people have heard of Castor and Pollux, the brightest stars of Gemini, not many people are aware that these twin brothers have a magnificent assortment of hidden siblings. Let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for the next two weeks, 8 p.m. your local time facing due south. A third of the way up from the horizon, you'll see the brightest star in the heavens, Sirius, which marks the eye of Orion's bigger dog. And just up to Sirius's right, the bright stars which mark Orion himself. But up much higher and to Orion's left, you'll encounter two more bright stars, which are named for the famous twin brothers in Greek mythology, Castor and Pollux. Pollux, the brighter of the two, is closer to the horizon, and if you look closely, has a slightly orangish tint to it. Castor, on the other hand, although a tiny bit dimmer, is bright white. For over 2,000 years, these two stars were considered the patrons of all sailors and seafaring peoples. Plus, they have also long been associated with the phenomenon called St. Elmo's fire. But as ancient as these twin stars are, modern science has revealed that there is much more to them hidden from the naked eye. Upon closer examination, we find that the brighter twin, Pollux, is a humongous star, much bigger than its brother, and is in fact almost 11 times the diameter of our own million-mile-wide sun. Dimmer Castor, however, is not to be outdone by his brother because he hides magnificent secrets. In fact, with telescopes and other instruments, Castor has revealed himself to be more than just one star. Indeed, way back during the time of the American Revolution, astronomers discovered that when they looked at Castor through a telescope, it had a companion. Thus, Castor became the first true binary star ever discovered. But later, as telescopes improved and other astronomical instruments were invented, astronomers were astonished to find out that both Castor and his hidden brother also had, each had a companion, which made Castor a quadruple star. And then, surprise of surprises, several years later, two more smaller siblings were found, which gave Castor the distinction of being not just a quadruple star, but a sextuplet star. Three pairs of stars, totaling six stars all together and all moving about each other in extremely exquisite and magnificent cosmic ballet, with four of the stars being bigger than our own sun. Wow, whoever said appearances were deceiving wasn't kidding. So, go outside this week and next, around 8 p.m., look due south, and after you've found the brightest star, Sirius, look above him for all the bright stars of Orion the Hunter, and above him, you'll see the most famous twins in the cosmos, which modern science has revealed to be seven sensational siblings. But the show's not over yet, folks, because we have three dazzling bright planets to add to the menu for tonight. Look in the center of your southern sky for three bright stars making a super bright triangle. Sirius, Betelgeuse, and Procyon. Draw a line to the left from Betelgeuse through Procyon. Double that distance and you'll come across a brighter reddish yellow point of light, the planet Mars. Mars will be at its brightest for this year because it will be at its closest on March 5th. Then go back to that bright triangle and draw a line the other way from Procyon through Betelgeuse. To the right and double that distance again and you'll easily spot giant Jupiter. And just down to its right, brilliant Venus. Be sure to get out each night the next few weeks and watch Venus close in on Jupiter for one of the best planetary pairings of the year. So that's Castor and Pollux, the twins of Gemini in the south, the bright winter triangle of Sirius, Procyon, and Betelgeuse, along with Mars in the east and Jupiter plus Venus in the west. Lots of bright things to see as you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.